Hi friends, welcome to a drop spot and hear me incentivized testnet tutorial. This project is invested in by Binance Labs and they have raised about $15 million and the tasks are very simple actually. To begin with, once you get to the website, you are going to connect your wallet, your Twitter account and then enter an invitation code. Once you have done that, you are going to click on Jumpstart the Pilot Program and it takes you to the next page where you are going to start completing tasks. The first task to complete is to visit their gags and complete the available tasks. So I just tapped on that. So there are only social tasks on their gags and I'm going to do all that off recorder then just come back to claim the oats. I am done completing all the tasks and I am going to claim one point. Having claimed the point, I am going to return to the Hemi Testnet website. Note that when you complete a task and you end point for it, it can take up to 4 hours before your points will now reflect on the leaderboard. So I am going to move on to the next task. And here we are to tunnel Sepolia ETH into Hemi Sepolia. This means that we are going to be using Sepulia ETH and I do not have that so we are quickly going to visit Sepulia Faucet and that is sepuliafaucet.com. To use this faucet you need to be logged in and you need to have minimum of 0.001 mainnet ETH on your wallet that you want to use to claim testnet token. So paste your wallet address, complete the capture, then tap on send me ETH and instantly your Sepulia ETH is going to arrive in your wallet. So now having gotten the ETH that I need, I am going to return to the page where I am to tunnel Sepulia ETH into Hemi Sepulia. So we are here and I am going to enter the amount of ETH that I want to tunnel to Hemi Sepulia. Now, note that recently the gas fee on Sepolia ETH is very high if you are trying to do testnet during the day. I mean, if you try to transact on Sepolia testnet during the day, you may even need to spend up to 1 ETH as gas fee. And Sepolia ETH is not that easy to get these days. So, what I did was to wait until midnight before I am going to run the testnet. And during the midnight, I only spent, as you can see, 0 0.041, which is still bearable. Okay, so I it has been about three weeks since I recorded this video, so it may have changed now. But if you are getting high gas fee when you want to do your interaction, you may need to wait till midnight. So I have completed that task. I am going to move on to the next one. As you can see, my leaderboard is still showing zero points. That's because it is it is not up to four hours yet, so you can't see anything. So I'm going to move to the next task. Tunnel stables to Hemi Testnet. So I am going to click on start. We are here to tunnel stables to Hemi Sepolia. We are going to tap on that ETH drop down. And you can choose any other token here aside Ether. You can choose DAI, Tether, or USD coin, which is USDC. You can choose any of these three. And as you can see, I do not have balance on any of them at the moment. So we are going to need to get our testnet uh, stable. So to do that, we are going to visit another website. We are going to visit aave.com. You are going to see all the links in the comment section for your convenience. Here is the website and once you are here, the first thing you want to do is to connect your wallet. Now, after connecting your wallet, you want to ensure that you are on the Sepolia uh, chain and to do that, you are going to tap on that drop down and then choose the chain that you want to claim your tokens on. So we want to claim on Sepolia and we are already on Sepolia. My wallet is already on Sepolia. I do not need to change it. If it is not on your end, you have to choose Ethereum Sepolia. Now you want to choose the stables where you want to get your test tokens. So I have just chosen USDC. I'm going to tap on faucet at the right side of USDC. And again, I'm going to tap on faucet USDC.
then you are going to get prompts to confirm this interaction in your wallet. Test token claimed. Now, if you want to claim another stable, you just find the one that you want to claim, then tap on faucet. Uh, I want to claim die as well. I am going to tap on faucet beside die. And the same goes for tether. I'm going to tap on faucet. So once I have claimed all the stables that I need, I am going to return to Hemi testnet page. And again, I'm going to tap on that drop down and then choose the stable that I want to tunnel or bridge, in another word, into Hemi Sepolia. You can see my balance is now reflecting on these three. I am going to choose dive this time because at the point of recording this three uh, weeks ago, I was getting issues with using Tether and USDC, but dive went at the first try. So I'm going to choose dive and I'm going to approve and confirm this in my wallet. Also, if you want to do this testnet interaction and MySys browser is giving you a problem, please go and use Kiwi browser. That is what I eventually used and it worked for me. So this transaction is completed. You can see that my 7000 die has now arrived on Hemi Sepolia. So I have returned to the testnet website. I'll move on to the next task, which is to create a multi-signature account on Hemi. Create a safe on Hemi. It takes you to save.hemi.xyz. Tap on that drop down at the top right and then choose Hemi Sepolia as the chain that you want to interact on and then connect your wallet. So we have selected network as Hemi Sepolia. Now we want to choose the name of our safe account, the name that our safe account is going to be bearing. So I'm going to enter a random name. So I just entered Hemi Safe Wallet. I am now going to tap on Next. Here we are to choose our signer wallet addresses for this multi-signature account that we are creating. So your first signer is going to be your primary wallet where your funds are to be stored. And that is the wallet that is connected to this website. So you can see Hemi Safe and then you see your wallet address there now if you want to change that you can simply just delete the wallet address then paste another wallet address okay so i just entered a name for this signer wallet now to add the second signer for this multi-signature account you are going to tap on add new signer and you are going to paste beside hemisep you are going to paste another wallet address which you actually have access to, do you get? Don't use another person's address. Use another address that belongs to you, which you have access to. That is the address you are going to paste beside Seth. And you are going to enter the name for this signer. The name is to be able to distinguish who is signing and who is not signing yet. A multi-signature account means that for every transaction that you want to do with that multi-signature account, there is going, it is going to be signed by more than one wallet addresses like when you have a joint account that is what it means so if you want to add your third signer you are going to add a new signer again and you are going to add the wallet address that you have access to and address name so you are going to repeat that for as many signers that you want to add to keep things simple i am only using just one signer so you are going to tap on next then tap on create Then you are going to confirm this transaction in your wallet. So your multi-signature account has been created. Tap on start using safe wallet. And that's it. So we are going to return to the testnet website. I'll complete the next task which is to create a capsule on Hemi. 
So first things first, we are going to connect to wallet. Now we are going to tap on add assets. I will tap on that button at the middle of my screen. And we are going to choose tunneled Hemi tunneled die. That is the die that we tunneled to Hemi. I have 7000 in my balance and I'm going to choose the amount that I want to capsule. So I have just typed in the amount. I'm going to tap on add. Now, if you want to add a name for this transaction, you are going to do that in this box right here. Then once you have entered your preferred name, you are going to tap on continue. Then again, tap on continue. So here you are going to enter the receiver address where you want the capsule uh, die to be received. So I just pasted the address here and you are going to tap on transfer. Then tap on approve. And you have to approve that in your wallet. Tap on continue. Then confirm this transaction in your wallet. Transaction successful. So we just capsuled a Hemi tunnel die and we also transferred it to another wallet. Now, if you want to make a new transaction, just tap on make another transfer at the bottom of that prompt. So I am going back to Hemi testnet page. The next task is to swap on Hemi, so I will tap on start. So you are going to choose any token that you would like to swap to and from on Hemi Sepolia. So since it was much easier for me to transact on DAI during this period, I decided to swap DAI as well. So I am swapping DAI for USDC. I will tap on swap. Tap on approve and swap. So set your approval. Next, you will receive prompt to sign message in your wallet. And lastly, you receive prompt to confirm the transaction in your wallet. So swap is successful. I'll go back to Hemi. Lastly, we have the Zilli tasks. So maybe new tasks have been added, but the point of uh, recording this three weeks ago, there are just two social tasks, which is to join Hemi Discord server and also follow Hemi on Twitter. So just complete that and claim the points. So I have completed the Zilli tasks. I'll go back to Hemi. Now, if you check the leaderboard, you'd see that some of my points are now reflecting. The new task that I just completed will not be reflecting yet because it is not about four hours interval yet. But some of my points have been reflecting. So for every task that you complete on Hemi, you are going to get points for it. And if you also refer people to come and complete uh, testnet interactions on Hemi, you also get points for referring others. So that will be all on Hemi incentivized testnet tutorial. This video is long overdue. I supposed to have uploaded this on YouTube since about three weeks ago, but I'm just uploading now. I got caught up in busy activities of life. I am so, so sorry that this has taken such a long time. And thank you for watching to the very end. If you have any question, do drop me a comment in the comment section. And if you have found value in any of my content before, then make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more. Join us on Telegram because some updates never make it to YouTube. And make sure to follow on Medium as well. You'll find all the links in the comment section. 
Thank you for watching. I will see you in another tutorial.